Hello and welcome to MIP TV. And with me, as always, is Bob Cook from the Manchester Institute for Psychotherapy. And we're on to book review 20, Bob. It's terribly exciting, isn't it? Yes, it's like, it seems a long time ago, but in other ways, it's gone quite quickly. And it just shows how many TA books, because they're all TA books, I've actually got on my bookshelf. And this number 20th is probably the most seminal book of all. It is, isn't it? And I mean, people will gather by looking at the title what the book is, but some of the interesting facts around it is that it's a book that gained popularity, yes, in the psychotherapeutic community, but it became a very mainstream read for people mm. outside the world of counselling and psychotherapy. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And the book's called I'm OK, You're OK by Tom Harris, 1972. Um, he was a disciple of the original uh, author of Transaction Analysis, which was, of course, Eric Byrne, who wrote the first book in 1961. And this, this sort of... Uh, popular book came along 11 years later uh, and a very accessible paperback with a wonderful title I think um, I'm okay you're okay very positive and one of the most healthy of existential life positions but I think what really set it apart was the accessibility of the uh, language um, which really meant people you know could understand that model very easily Yes, and it, it, when I read it, and I read it a long time before I was involved in the world of counselling and psychotherapy, it made so much sense. But it does really link in to, to Burns' idea of making therapy accessible to the common person, using plain language and not kind of, kind of pseudo-scientific terms. So it, it is in that tradition of, Burn, of Burns' philosophy, really, isn't it? Absolutely. And his idea of uh, existential life positions, I'm OK, you're OK, being the most healthy one, of course, that we should aim for, um, is uh, not only a wonderful idea, but, of course, a very um, enlightening, empowering idea. Yeah, it, it is. It, it, it's a very hopeful humanistic position i know in the preamble before we hit the record button we were we, you were saying that it's a very uh, humanistic view of the mm. human condition um yeah, yeah. which yeah. may surprise some people being it's linked to a psychoanalytical perspective in a way but you know if we think of carl rogers and you know i know you know a lot more about him probably than me being uh, uh, you know teaching person-centered uh, th therapy and theory but of course his whole um, position around self-actualization uh, meeting the core conditions is very uh, in the sort of world of I'm okay you're okay absolutely it is it's 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 it's, it's definitely they're definitely on the same page I'd, I'd agree with you there Bob um I I always thought I had a tutor actually gave a copy of a book to a client and I thought I just um, yeah one of my tutors when I was um, when I was being taught mentioned she'd given the copy to a client. So is a I always thought there was a big self help um, kind of component to this book where people could read it and to some extent start to kick start their own process. Yeah, and it goes through the basic uh, theories of transaction analysis, uh, ego state, games, rackets, and script in a very practical way, but also brings um, a philosophical touch mm. to transaction analysis. As I said, um, visiting the existential positions, uh, the most healthy, I'm OK, you're OK. Then you've got I'm OK, you're not OK, which is more of the paranoid position. Uh, then uh, I'm not OK, you're OK, which is more of the withdrawn position. Um, and then, of course, the most futile position of all, which is I'm not OK, you're not OK. Um, and we visit all those positions, I think, generally, uh, very, you know, very, very much through the, through, the, through the week or through the day or how we structure time. Mm. But the most healthy position, of course, to aim for is um, I'm OK, you're OK, which is the title of that book. Absolutely. And I always, uh, I always thought it was a super way of teaching on a very basic level, attachment theory. I'm OK, you're OK mm. is a healthy attachment. I'm OK, you're not OK 
is av av avoidant dismissive, you're okay, I'm not okay, is ambivalent, and of course, I'm not okay, you're not okay, is disorganised attachment, yeah. the work of Mears yeah. and Solomon. And it's, it's a really, I thought it was a really straightforward way of, on a very basic level, teaching what attachment styles are and as a, as a way of way of personal self-awareness and also teaching it with, with others. Very useful teaching aid, I would imagine, Bob. Very much so. And it's a very, again, I'm going on about this point, but I think it is the hallmark of this book. It's very accessible and you can give this book to clients. Very easy to read in a paperback, very short. It isn't long, it's only about 100 pages, I think. And, and it goes through the parent-adult-child model very succinctly, very uh, simply, and has a philosophical, easy, accessible template. Um, so, it, 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 you know, teachers used it, business people used it, and it was the I was in the bestseller of the 100 bestsellers in America for years and years and years. And in fact, if you looked it up now, I think this book would still be very high in the most popular books sold in in, in America worldwide, in fact. And I would also suppose, be, I would bet this, that if you talk to most transactional analysts or people who are interested in the world of psychotherapy, per se, depending even depending on what model they came from, they have either read this book or it's on, or it's on the bookshelf. Yeah, absolutely, it's on my bookshelf behind me. I've got <laughs> I've uh, I've got a, a very very early yellow copy of it, very which I think about yeah. I bought for fifty uh, yeah. p um, at a at a, at a, a, a bring and buy. But there you go, it's such an available book. It's affordable as well, so fantastic. As always, um, you know, Bob is not. Um, Get it being sponsored by Thomas Harris if he's still alive or the book company. This oh, is Bob just sharing his his love of literature, and as always, we'll put a link to the book where you can buy it from a bookseller in the link below. And at the end of the video, we'll put a little picture up just to remind everybody what the, the format of the book is like. So the so so I'm okay. You're okay, Thomas Harris. What a fantastic book to have for the twentieth. Um, 20th yeah, yeah. <laughs> broadcast and, yeah. and as always Bob Cook thank you very much you're welcome thank you